hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in if you are new on my channel welcome <laughs> my name is Bertha and I do our faith relationship personal development lifestyle and all this stuff okay so in today's video in today's video right before I talk about today's video okay now please and please and please subscribe to my channel and in today's video we are talking about popular lifestyles that will destroy you okay Pop will stay away from them all right now are you ready <laughs> okay so the first popular lifestyle okay in our present time now is and a lot of people have multiple sexual partners okay but in today's in this first point okay this point this point actually i want to read a scripture okay which is at um proverbs 31 verse 3 okay give not thy strength unto women and i dare to say men as well nor to things that destroy kings okay especially the youth okay your the strength that you have in your youth okay it is not for sleeping around the strength you have today okay is strength for you to honor god to honor yourself to honor your society to honor the to honor your country and the world at large okay your strength is not for you to be sleeping around so it's the bible is so complete it says do not give not thy strength unto what men or unto women stop sleeping around okay that strength that you have in some few years to come you can't you can't be sleeping around anymore that strength that you're supposed to work hard to achieve something for your life work hard to achieve something for your life you have you have used that life since that is destroying unmarried people okay single people who have promising lifestyles okay now that you are old you are now going to work hard it doesn't work life is governed by principles and not what miracles okay your strength is for you to work a lot okay work hard okay in your youth work hard and not sleeping around now the youth of today are sleeping around they have multiple partners like i said and it's not making sense so somebody will say oh but i'm not sleeping around i'm just watching pornography now my point is after watching pornography what do you do do you go and lay bed and sleep from watching pornography you progress from there to be in practice is that not so and sex is in the mind it happens psychologically before the act takes place so you have no business watching pornography okay you have by the time you realize that watching pornography you are you know walking by somebody's window calling somebody's couch what is pornography going to do for you what good is pornography going to do for you so please please don't watch such things okay this lifestyle sleeping around okay is a popular lifestyle among the youth you know in our society now and it's destroying people all right now and also with the health implications okay you know People also take a lot of strong aphrodisiacs and other things, okay, to you take aphrodisiacs to enhance, you know, your sexual drive, okay, and these things also goes a long way to affect your body, okay, you have, you know, skin diseases, you know, it damages your lungs and your blood, you know, a whole lot of stuff. And once you get pregnant and you're not even ready to give birth, okay, you have problems with your with your uterus, with your womb, with your fallopian tubes, a whole lot of complications that your family has to spend a whole lot of money on. Okay, if you're not being financially capable to take care of your child, what is going to happen to that child? That's how come you have a lot of homeless children today in orphanages, you know, people dumping their fresh babies or babies in the basket in the forest, a whole lot of issues in the gutters and the rest. Okay, so please stop having sexual activities. I beg you. Okay, this lifestyle doesn't do anybody any good. You are not your your friends say you are not sleeping around, you are not you are not there, you are not, you know, you're not a lady yet, you are not blah blah. It's a lie. Okay. So those people are suffering, you know, suffering and you're not talking about it, okay? But I'm telling you today that this is one of the lifestyle popular lifestyles that I want to show you. Can you stay away from them? Okay. A lot of people who are engaging in sex that have issues, okay, to settle with with their health, with their finances, you know. Even with their social lives, right? Now, assuming a girl goes to have sex and get pregnant, it is likely that you will drop out of what? Of school. You are likely to drop out of school. 
And another thing that is, that is likely to happen is that, you know, if you're in a club or if you're in a church or if you're in a school, certainly in a school, right, you'll be forced to drop out. And once you drop out, because you are feeling shy to go back because they'll say you are pregnant, blah, 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 you choose to stay in the house. And that brings forth isolation. Okay, you can't go to the market again, you can't go to school, you can't go to church, you can't, you know, keep up your friends that you have. So why would you find trouble for yourself? Okay, if you think that's are disturbing you, let's find a hobby and do. You can play football, you can play Ludo, you can, you know, you can read interesting stories, okay? And then now friends. The next point is what? Having a baby mama. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you know, um, and you see, the, the, the appalling thing in this point is that, you know, celebrities are what? Endorsing it. And you know, celebrities, Celebrities are what influencers that influence the young people, you know, influence society. Celebrities are endorsing this baby mama thing. Why are they endorsing it? For fame. Okay? So, I'm a baby mama to this musician or this movie star or this, you know, actor, you know. They are doing it because of fame. They are doing it because of money. You know, once you go and give birth with somebody's husband, okay, or you go and give birth to uh, uh, somebody you are not married to, and the person is a celebrity, you know, you get to enjoy the, the money that comes with it, enjoy the fame, but it's not worth it, okay, it is not worth, worth it, so these are popular lifestyles that are destroying people, okay, and sometimes they do it for wealth, okay, or they think that, okay, if I go and give birth with this rich celebrity or this person, okay, they, they will leave a legacy, okay, for my child, which I also get to enjoy from, Auntie, uncle, go and work, okay? Go and what? Work. You can't be depending your life on somebody's property, thinking that when you go into that family, okay, you get to enjoy that property. So you see one celebrity or one movie star who has multiple, <laughs> multiple baby mummies, okay? And they are proud of it. They are proud of it. And then people are also was learning from this. And then some people also watch this reality shows that doesn't add anything to anybody okay a show in nigeria big brother nigeria okay i, I don't know if i'm mentioning any right okay where people even married people married people go in there to go and sleep with you know other people who are also married or married how does this work how does this make sense okay now if you are watching such a show like this what are you going to learn from okay to guide your life okay so instead of watching shows like this that married people sleep with you know people they are supposed to be doing contests to why not to watch you know godly people who are also who are having godly marriages okay on the internet on youtube on you know even in your church okay now if you are watching a show like this you are also likely to produce what to watch okay so guard what to watch okay guard what to watch all right a lot of the things we watch influence us in, a, in, in so many bad ways. All right? So, guard what you watch. I mean, guard the things that what you watch. All right? Who, who doesn't want to also get married, you know, have their own children in their own house with peace? But then you choose to go and give birth, okay? Because of property or fame or inheritance or something else. Okay? These are lifestyles that what will destroy you. They will destroy you. In fact, they have damaged a lot of people, but you don't see because they cover it with all the glamour and all the beautiful things you can see. All right? Okay, let's move to the third point. The third point is drugs. 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 Okay, drugs. Okay, when I talk about drugs, I'm talking about, you know, mar marijuana. I'm talking about shisha. Well, I don't need shisha, but then <laughs> I still see people smoke it. <laughs> okay? Shisha and no weed, no, um, a lot, some of them, they even put them in alcoholic drinks, okay? Now, why do people do drugs? Why? Now, the one factor is what? From influence, oh, because my friend is doing it, he says, I should try it to work for me, so I'll go and try it. You, you, by the time you realize you're running mad, that's your friend that is drinking, is, is working fine. <laughs> you go and try, you run mad, you run mad, oh. <laughs> All right, another reason why people also, engage in drugs is because they are facing difficulties or you know they are in a certain phase of their life that they are facing hardship okay now hardship is part of life if you are facing a problem 
you know, the right thing to do is to talk to somebody. Not drinking, taking in drugs. Now, when you're taking the weed, the fita, and the, um, you know, all those things, right? At the end of the day, the problem is still there. It's sitting waiting for you. You are rather damaging your lungs, your kidney, your liver, your heart. You know, you're going to get cancer. You're going to get blood cancer. You're going to damage your organs. And you will die in addition. Now, when you die, if you have a, a family, it's your family who will suffer. Okay? Now, the youth in these times are into drugs that it will blow your mind. When you go to pubs and parties, you know, you see people smoking, you know, and if you're not smoking, oh, you are not there. If you're not smoking, you don't know what is up. If you're not smoking, you know, mm -mm, you don't count you. You don't belong. That's the word. When you're not smoking, you don't belong. Okay, these lifestyles are killing people. Okay, these lifestyles are what is damaging people. Yes, I then also take tobacco, okay, and then cigarettes, okay. Some also take what steroids to stimulate their bodies and all stuff, you know, all these things. You are destroying your body. You are the youth are destroying themselves, okay. These lifestyles are destroying people. They are destroying people. Another reason why somebody will take drugs is what I want to try and see how it works. But forgetting that, that is how people actually start drugs. Okay, let me taste, let me take one, you know, one row and see. You probably realize you're taking two rows. You probably realize you're increasing to three, four. And that is how you become master. Okay, so once something is not good, it's not good. Don't say, oh, uh, uh, somebody has been smoking uh, five years now, ten years now, so the person is not mad. So once you also try it, you'll be fine. Just take a sniff and you find yourself on the street. That's how come we see a lot of young people, okay, on their street. What is wrong with them? They are off. Okay, so don't let influence from friends or anything at all lead you to what? To do drugs, to smoke. This lifestyle are what? Are killing people. Okay, and they are popular lifestyles. You see, go to the street, you see people drinking, you go to the pub, people smoking. It's a lifestyle. Like I said, if you are not engaged in this lifestyle, you don't know what is up. <laughs> okay. Taking of drugs, okay, also affects your system. Okay, now as a woman, it affects your what? Your your tubes. It affects your womb. Okay, now when you get married and then you want to give birth, okay, then you start having issues. You see a nice lady, okay, now she has hair loss. Why? Because she's smoking. You see a, a woman or a young guy, and then you see their skin has is colored. Why? Doing drugs. Okay, so these popular lifestyles are what they are destroying people. Please and please stay away from them. Okay, please and please stay away from them. Right. Now to the next point. Okay, so the next point is closely related to what the third point. Okay, which is alcohol. Okay, so I will want to read a scripture, okay, from the Bible. Okay, it says that Proverbs 20, verse 1. I don't know, I like the book of Proverbs so much. It contains a lot of wisdom, okay? <laughs> okay, it contains wisdom. <laughs> That's the way I take most of my wisdom from. Eh? <laughs> okay, now, wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. And whosoever is led astray by it is not what? Wise. Wine was if you alcohol will alcohol, right? It, it will mock you. Okay. Now when people drink alcohol, what do you see? You know, they walk around aimlessly, they they don't look themselves, they don't think rationally. So when the Bible says wine is a mocker, okay, it is it is complete. Okay, it is very complete. And it's saying whoever is led astray by them. Nobody drinks alcohol and go and sit down quietly. And doesn't do anything stupid. Okay, eventually you do something stupid. You you go and put your hand in hot oil. Okay, you do something to hit somebody. Alright? Alcohol is... People will say, oh, but I'm not drinking plenty. I'm starting with 1%. 1%. That's... Whoever started drinking alcohol started from 1% or at least. Started from somewhere. You start from somewhere to end somewhere, okay? So once you end 
the next time you have to increase it because one percent is no more doing anything to you so you increase it to two percent so that you can feel something from two percent to ten percent to fifteen percent then you start drinking the main drink okay some of them even go to the extent of what putting in other things mixing other things to drink so that you stimulate your body this thing doesn't do any good to your body this lifestyle okay of drinking smoking doesn't do any good to your body okay your body is the only thing you have you can't say i'm changing my body no that is the only thing you have and besides it is a temple of god if you are a christian okay now we hear a lot of people being raped right people being kidnapped okay some of them are being killed for rituals okay now an easy way to get somebody okay for all these things i've mentioned is when the person is not him, him or herself when the person is not thinking rationally okay you go to a club you leave your drink i'm going to the washroom you come somebody has dumped something in it the next moment you realize that in the person's house you are raped or you know you are tied on a tree about to be killed or you have been kidnapped and then they are demanding ransom ransom of money from your your parents you know and your family you know that's how can we saying that wine is a what a mocker it will mock you okay it will definitely definitely what mock you and then you also when you drink alcohol like i mentioned okay you go and rape somebody's child you 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 are forced to you know do all sorts of unrational things okay please stay away from these lifestyles okay please and please stay away from these lifestyles okay that's how i'm doing this video to encourage somebody out there okay if you know you're engaging in all these things to make sure you seek help okay there's help out there seek help don't join the wrong company kindly seek help okay all right let's go i'm so passionate about this okay <laughs> all right so let's go to the fourth i mean the fifth and last point which is money rituals okay the fifth point is what money rituals or fraud <laughs> okay now this these two are closely related okay now the youth of today okay are interested in getting money as as early or as easy as possible but there's no road, there's no shortcut anyway. Eh? There's no shortcut anyway. Okay, there's a scripture. Okay, perhaps I'll put it, you know, somewhere here or there. Okay, it says what? This honest money dwindles. Okay, but money that is gotten bit by bit. Okay, it grows. Okay, it grows. Now, dwindle means that it will get finished. If you get money from, you know, an, an unapproved route. The man will get finished because you have common sense to use the money wisely. If you acquire money from rituals, from killing somebody, okay, for money rituals or frauding somebody, okay, what good can that money, what good thing can you use that money for? And it happens. You see them throwing their money about, you know, smoking with the money, buying unnecessary things, you know, and keeping down, keeping a lot of, you know, um, sex partners. That's the kind of life you live because the, the money you are getting has no value. So you are going to use it for things that do not what profit. And a reason why some of these people engage in such things is that, you know, for them to, you know, belong to a certain, certain society, okay? Those societies are certain of big boys or big girls, okay? If you are not in that society, you have not gotten there. Now, pressure from society, okay? This is our own society gives us pressure okay once oh you are a certain age and then you don't own certain things you don't own a car you don't own you know certain things you know properties they are not there yet so society will, will label you okay and then you think oh let me go and do this for somebody or let me go and kill somebody for money and what and belong and sometimes we do this because of what fancy lifestyle oh i'm wearing this brand you know i'm wearing that brand you know i'm wearing this kind of hair i'm wearing that brand i'm wearing i'm holding this gucci bag i'm holding it is not necessary if you are able to work on your own okay and get these things for yourself fair enough you don't owe anybody you are working with peace your head your head is at peace but uncle auntie if you go and kill somebody okay for money rituals who goes be hunting mm, who will be having sleepless nights who will be having sleepless nights who would have to go wake up from midnight okay to go to a, a forest to go and perform rituals or to go to the city all these things are what are not necessary okay 
So another reason why people flood or do breakdowns, okay, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15, I think, okay, it says that keep your lives free from what? Money. Now, another reason why people do this, like I said, is because of greed. Greed is killing people. Greed. Okay, somebody has worked hard for their money. You are idle, lazy, relaxed. Okay? Waiting for manna to fall from heaven. Manna too doesn't fall like that. God brings manna to somebody who is already, you know, doing something, then he can bless the person. Then you will be so envious and so, you know, full of greed that you would be sitting behind your computer because data is less. Okay? <laughs> when you have two CDs, you can buy data, and then you'll be flooding somebody. Or you would you would kill a whole human being for sacrifice. Some people even use their family members, their girlfriends, their, their sisters, their siblings, their family, their friends for rituals. Why? Because you want to be rich. Greed. Keep your lives free from what? Money. Keep your lives free from what? Money. Okay? It doesn't mean that I don't work for money. It doesn't mean that I don't desire money. Once you desire something, work for it. Okay? Work for it and you, you'll be there. You will also want to make it. Okay? Alright. I hope this video blessed you. Please, if it did, kindly subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Okay? Please subscribe. Help my ministry. Okay? So that I can continue to do more videos. Alright? And please like as well. Okay? Like my videos. Like my videos. Like my videos. I cannot say this enough. And finally, comment down the comments box okay, below. Okay? Any other lifestyles that you think that, okay? People should stay away from popular lifestyles that people should stay away from. Okay, that should destroy people kindly. Let's communicate in the comment section. Comment section down below. All right, and thank you so much. Okay, and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for engaging my videos. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. And I love you as well. I promise to bring you amazing content. Okay, that will help you in your life daily. Okay, that will help you in certain areas of your life okay all right with this i've come to the end of my video thank you okay for watching and see you at the other side